Okay, so is everyone here? Is everyone ready? I think we can make a start. Is everyone hyped for the finals after all the tech problems? The weather outside has calmed down a lot. Um, I think we will be good. Yeah, my ad, my ad block... Uh, pff, fucking talk, T. My ad blocker stopped working on Twitch the other day. No idea why. Got it working again, but... Like I say, I think the um, issues are fixed. So I'm, I'm happy to start, guys. I'm really happy to start. So, Greaves, are you here, mate? Can you give me a shout in the chat? Oh, classes is just lagging a bit. That's okay. Classy mugging me for 40 viewers. <laughs> yeah, good to go. Cool, man. Yo, everybody watching my stream, get out of my stream. Get in T-stream. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Same with Nova. Yeah, guys, send your fucking viewers over here. They want to hear the commentary, hopefully. No chair, standing up. How do we know you're actually real? Because I'm talking. People have seen my face. Um, but yeah, I'll let you boys get on track and let's go. Because I think the weather outside is... Well, it's not frightful. It's frightful, but, you know, weather outside is fucking my network. Um, yeah, so let's go. I'll let these boys get onto track and um, I'm going to pause my stream just so it's not just so it's not um, using download. Ha, <laughs> nice, classy. Love it, man. Now, get on track, bro, so we can get started. Beautiful for some gaming. Absolutely. Nova did it too. Cheers, guys. Much love. Much love for taking part, guys. Good effort. I love you lot. You guys have been so cool during this. This is you guys make this worth it. The riders and the viewers. You all you all make it worth it. Like we're a great we're a great community and look what we can do. Just look what we can do. Right, so So we'll just let Classy go. So I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, one. And then once both riders start going. I'll reset the timer. The finals have started, boys. Are you ready? Boys and girls, let's fucking go. So Nova has started. And Classy has started. We have the first 10-minute match of the winner's final, guys. We have more matches to come after this. So let's see. Classy getting world record on this earlier. So big, big expectations from Classy. Some really big expectations. So who's going to be the first to put in a run? Looks like Classy shaping up. Gets the drop down nicely. Will he clear up to the top? Yes, he does. Nice slide there. Let's see. Classy across the line in a 34.983. 34.983. Setting the standard. Here we go. So Nova's got to catch up. I don't think that'll be enough. Mm, he's lost some time, but let's see. Coming up to the last couple of checkpoints. It's up there nicely. And across the line in 35.598. So he's got a little bit of work to do there. Classy again, center of the track. Classy in the lead with a 34.983. Nova looking to make up a bit of time. Classy again ahead of his world record pace. And a 34.417. A 417. This is insane from Classy. Utterly insane. A 417. Look at that. 
a tiny bit. And he beats Nova's PB on this too. Absolutely nuts. The insane counter will be about 10 billion tonight, guys. So, so you're witnessing probably, you know, two of the top riders at the moment. GT4 obviously having not played in a while. And uh, Mr. Jin um, with his save getting messed up. But we've got Nova with a 34965. A 965. Again, classy in the middle of the track. Nova restarting. So the, the loser of this match will go on to face Blubby. The loser of this best of three will go on to face Blubby. Remember, classification setting world record on this track just earlier today. So he's very well practiced and very well prepared for this particular track. Is he so well prepared for other tracks? We'll find out. So both riders are almost exactly the same point in the track. So you'll get an idea of how fast they're going here. Because if Nova ends up going past Classy. And you know he's on good pace. Nova gets up there nice and cleanly. So I'm going to need some help with the timings here guys. Because they're going to both finish very quickly. Classy doesn't improve. Nova with a 34.970. That's not an improvement either. Both riders very close to their session PBs. Six minutes left in the session, guys. The best of five is later on. Yeah, the grand final. So this is a best of three. Um, the next match where the loser faces Blubby will be a best of three. And then we go to the best of five for the grand final, which could possibly need to be played twice. If the uh, winner of this gets beaten, um, then the uh, person from the loser's bracket will have to beat them again. Yeah, well, good, good effort, Greaves. Appreciate it. I still need to know to be able to write it down in my book. Um, so, guys, do keep the timings there. I know me and Greaves have... Got it mostly under control, but it's also very helpful for you guys to confirm in chat. Anyone who, The mods have free reign to ban anyone who abuses this. Um, it's really not helpful, so just play it cool, yeah? So back to the racing, guys. We've got Classy coming up to the end again with a 34.577. It's not going to be enough for a PB. Just under five minutes of the session remaining. We're halfway through the first match of tonight. There are plenty more matches to come. Guys, please refrain. No, don't worry. You're all right. So, yeah, there is a prize for um, world record set. Um, the people involved know what it is, and that's all they need to know. I'll let you know at the end of the, end of the session what that is. So, both riders here with 4 minutes 10 left. Classy currently in the lead by about 0.5. But Nova really needing to find some time here. Is the uh, stream quality still good for everyone? Do let me know if there's any issues. So, Classy in the middle of the track and Nova coming up to the middle of the track. Happy days, guys. Happy days. So, Classy restarting, but Nova carrying the run on. Is he going to... He's not going to have enough speed to get up to the top. Well, get up to the top cleanly anyway. Which is vital when you're racing a time like Classy's already set. But as I said earlier, guys, remember Classy set the world record on this track just earlier today. So, he's very well practiced. Again, getting that backflip nicely down to drop... Get enough speed to get up to the top. Is he going to come up with... No, he loses all his speed at the end there. That's a 35-142. So you'll see both runs instantly a diamond. Both runs easily within the top 50. These guys are absolutely insane.
Thanks to all the follows. Thanks to anyone who's raided or um, sent any no uh, bits or anything like that. I don't have any notifications on, so I will get to those sorts of things um, after the races. So currently we have classification in the lead of the first match tonight. This is a best of three. See who goes down into the loser's bracket to face Blubby next. Classy coming over the line with a 664. It won't be enough. Nova getting caught on those barrels again. Let's see. You can never count either of these riders out. Coming up to 1 minute 30 left in the session. So Nova does actually have to get a PB. To beat Classy's time here. Classy again. Being able to go green on his time. This is absolutely insane. Is it the king has returned? Is that what we're going to see? Are we going to see classification take over Trials Rising just like he did with Trials Fusion? Be insane to watch. A minute left in the session, guys. Remember, best of three, so this doesn't mean that Nova goes down to the loser's bracket. We've still got another two races to decide the rider's fate after this. Nova had to feed the family. <laughs> I love it, Hayes. I love it, mate. Don't forget to drink. Thank you. I'm now taking a swig. So Nova with a 34.969. Not enough. A 9.69 is not enough for a PB. 20 seconds left of the session. There's not going to be a chance for many more attempts. Remember, if you're on a run when the timer runs out, you get to finish that run. That applies to both riders, guys. And we are five, four, three, two, one. The session's over. Nova can finish this run, and that is it. Let's see what Classy can do. So Classy taking the first win, and that is it for the session, guys. That is it for the first session. So we have Classy taking that one with a 34-417. Only a very, very small amount of his actual world record absolutely insane guys what an exciting race to start off with we are moving over to black gold now very technical track i believe that nova will have the edge on this track if we think about it classy got the world record on toxic behavior earlier today But classification, the world record holder on this track. He does know the track. He does know the track. So, let's see. If both riders are ready, we'll just get straight into it. So, I'll start the timer in three, two, one, and then I'll reset when both riders are going. So, whenever you're ready, gentlemen, let's start this second match. If classification wins this, Nova goes on to face Blubby in the loser's bracket. Another best of three. So... Off we go. Both riders are away and we are on black gold. Oh, classy getting that slide very nicely. Very technical track. Very technical. A very technical start. So both riders getting through that first start. What? Is that a new strat, is it, from Nova? Is that fast? Hmm. Ah, both riders. Ah. What, on black gold? Both riders beat their PBs on black gold? Or on toxic? 
This track is extremely frustrating, guys. It is very technical. There is a lot of nuances. So, classification coming up to the end of the track. And he puts in a 46.159. A 46.159. Same time today. Wow. On black gold. This is insane. So we have a new world record on black gold. Is that correct? So Nova currently going green. Both riders have obviously practiced this track today. Potential to see another PB from Nova. Because he has PB'd in the tournament already. Even so, he looks like he's on a very good run at the moment. He looks like he's on a good run. And he comes in with a 45-379. A 45-379. Or was it 9-7? Was it 379 or 97? But we currently have 379. 397. It was 97. I apologize, guys. It was a 97, absolutely. So currently Nova in the lead by quite a margin. And if it remains this way, we're going to the third track to decide who goes down to the loser's bracket. So currently Nova in the lead by about 0.8 seconds. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. A substantial lead. Will this have an effect on Classy's nerves? Do we think that either rider is watching what the other rider is doing? What would you guys do? Would you just focus on the track? Or would you have the stream open? Nova not happy making a restart. Classy getting across the first time saver nicely. There were no best of threes yesterday. I think there was. There were two. <laughs> so we've got Classy further on in the track. Will he improve? He's quite far behind his time. So let's see. He's got a 46.159. He comes across with a 46.015. It's not going to be enough to beat Nova. We're coming up to six minutes left in the session, guys. Nova not quite making it across there. Let's see what Classy can do. Classy not making it across smoothly. As I said, I feel like Nova might be more comfortable on this track. Yeah, no games went to the third track. Absolutely, you're right. So are we going to see that for the first time? Let's see. Can Nova take us to round three of the best of three? Nova's going to tie this up. There's five minutes left, guys. There's no way you can count Classy out yet. There is no way you can count Classy out yet. Oh. Nova just having a little hang there. I'm going to double click to re re establish the stream. There we go. And we are back. So currently Nova in the lead with a 45397. Classy chasing with a 46015. Remember, guys, there is also a prize for the players who have the closest match. And we shall see. I've got you on that, Kurt. There's a big announcement going to be coming later next week, okay? Big announcement coming. I've got something planned for everyone, so don't you worry. This, What I've got planned will include 
top tier riders, low tier riders, mid tier riders, the viewers, everyone will be able to get involved. Nova on a very good run here. He comes in with a 44.452. It's not going to be enough. Classy. What did he get? Not enough. Did anyone see what class he got? Yes, like I said, French. Like I've said, um, absolutely. Um, 45.730. Wonderful, thank you. It's not going to be enough to take the lead. He's chasing. You can understand why he's resetting, but as long as you guys are watching, as long as somebody sees it, that's all we need. And we can always um, confirm on the VOD. So Nova going green. Coming up to three minutes left in the session. Drop down very low on that pipe. That's not going to work. Classy not getting grip on the top of that pipe there. Reset. Nova very high on the slide. Classy gets the slide. Very nice. Very nicely off the top of the pipe there, but he has gone quite far. He landed very low, but the re-grip was very nice. But reset. Nova again is ahead by a long shot. This is insane, guys. We could be seeing the first world record of the competition. This is insane. Nova is going cracked. Are we going to see it, guys? Are we going to see the first world record? This has potential. He's 0 0.6 ahead almost. He loses a bit. Oh, and he's just lost all of his pace. Oh, no. But is he going to come in with a session PB? A 4-2-3. It's not even a session PB, guys. That was absolutely insane. That was so tense. So tense. Let's see. Can Classy pull out anything? Two minutes left in the session, guys. Looks like Nova currently is tying things up. It will be one apiece, and we'll go to a decider. It's extremely tense, guys, when we're watching these world record riders on such good pace. Classy is looking good for this run. It's shaping up. Nova slides on his back wheel. Let's see what he can do. Can he come with a better session PB to fend off Classy? He's looking good. Don't think it's going to be, and he knows it's not. It was a big choke, absolutely. Under the circumstances, you can be forgiven, though. Classy not getting the time saver. One minute left in the session, guys. Nova going consistently green. He really isn't hanging around, but he does mess up the slide and resets. Just under a minute left in the session now. Closing moments. Let's see. Can either rider, can Nova improve to fend off Classy and Classy take it back from Nova? Nova just looking very comfy on this track. Very comfortable. He's looking very good, guys. He's looking very good. Certainly a session PB. That's a 45-1-1-2. I think Classy is going to have a very tough time. We do not have a world record, but he beats Classy. This is insane, guys. Great PB, Nova. And we have finished the session. Let's let fit Classy finish this, this um, run. It's not looking great for him. He needs to be ahead of his own PB if he's going to beat Nova on this. He's a little bit behind at the moment. And he is struggling. And that is it, guys. We go to the decider. Excellent job, boys. Excellent work. Brilliant racing. Utterly insane speed there from Nova. Utterly insane. So both riders... Almost coming out with a world record. Absolutely. Big round of applause for both riders, guys. So, 
We are now going to Vietnam vaults, guys. Possibly considered one of the best speedrunning tracks on the game. Extremely slidey. You will see hundreds of slides in the next 10 minutes, guys. Just wait and see. Okay. So, I'm going to start the timer. In three, two, one. And then when both riders begin riding, I will reset the timer. Best of luck, guys. Let's see who's going through to face Blubby. Let's see who remains in the winner's bracket. Whoever wins this race will get a massive advantage when it comes to the grand finals. So big stuff going to be happening here, guys. We have got Classification, the King of Trials Fusion, on the right. We have Nova Star, the King of Current King of Trials Rising. And returning Trials Records World Champion. So look at the slides, guys. These guys are insane on this track. The amount of slides you will see. Nova Star having this world record many times. Classification currently holding the world record. Not getting the slide there for Nova, but it's still a very good run. Still very close to his ghost. This is going to be a good run from Nova. So Nova coming across the line in a 53-843. A 53-843. So Nova takes the lead. Nova starting again. Classy getting all the slides. This track is just slide after slide after slide, guys. Rah, first run. Absolutely. So absolutely smashing the diamond medal time on his first full run. Classy here. Going green on his world record. Getting the slide. Will he get this next one? Yes, he does. A little bit high. But I think it's certainly worth continuing. Over the top of the crest there. Nicely. Can take, keeps the grip. How's this going to go for him? He gets down low very nicely. So, classification... Enter in the final throws of the track. And he scuffs it. So back to the start for classification. This is some brilliant riding from both guys. You are seeing the cream of the crop, guys. This is two of the very best trials riders of all time racing each other here. Coming up to, we are one quarter of the way through this deciding match, guys. Plenty of time left for both riders to improve. Plenty of time for a world record. Classy getting that slide down nice and low. See how he fares on the uphill. He's done nicely and he gets that grip nicely over the crest. Same again. Let's see how low he gets down here. Quite high there. And that slide is very risky. The world record is on the stream. So we have a 53.8. And the world record is 53.274. Welcome, Benji. Welcome to everyone you are watching the third match between Novastar and Classification. Novastar going green currently. Looking very good. Classification entering the final stages of the track. Let's see what's going to go on here. Nova still green. Bit of a freeze on Nova. Let's get that back. There we go. Oh, Nova's stream, and I think he restarted. Sorry, guys, I'm not sure what's going on. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I do apologize. That's he going green. So 
Classy got a run. What did Classy just get? Did he get a better run? Can somebody confirm Classy's run for me? I was just checking the network, guys. A 53-3. It was over 54. 54 something. 54-4. 4-3-1. So it won't be enough. Greaves, you need to change Classy's time, bro. It says 45. The 54. Greaves, that's it, my man. GG's. So Nova coming up. Currently Nova in the lead. So Nova coming up with a 54094. It's not going to be enough. Was Classy 54330? Just four minutes left in the session, guys. Four minutes left. What's up, Greaves? So we are in the deciding match to see who goes down to the losers bracket to face Blubby. We will be having a break in between this match and the next. But we will have some content provided by some special guests. Cheers, Greaves. Appreciate it, bro. If it's one thing us guys are a stickler for, it's, it's quality data. I didn't build trials records to be getting the times wrong, guys. So, back to the racing. We've got Classy on the right, Nova Star on the left. Both with one win each. Three minutes left in this session. Can Classy... Can he get a 53? Can he beat Nova to remain in the winner's bracket? The winner of this race will have a massive advantage going into the grand finals because they will need to be beaten twice, whereas they will only need to beat their opponent once. A little bit framey on Classy there, but it's not a problem. Oh, Nova Star over halfway through the track now. Getting a very nice slide there. A very nice slide. This is insane stuff from Nova. What are we going to see here, guys? Nova's looking very good. He's looking very good. And that's a 53.686. That is insane, guys. A 53.686. So close to the world record. 1 minute 54 of the session left. Classy, go. We've still got a minute 46 left, guys. You guys who are performing this, it's just absolutely nuts. The skills involved. Classy's back. There's a minute 20 left. This is still enough time. Classy could pull this out of the bag. Ultimately, Classy is playing against the more experienced rising player, the returning champ who has performed under these sorts of conditions before. But remember, guys, whoever wins here will go to the grand finals. The loser will go down to face Blubby in another best of three. The winner of that match will go on into the grand finals. And the loser will take third place. Let's see. Nova not getting the slide. Classy not getting the slide. We've got Borads 
And we've got 30 seconds left. What is Classy doing? Is he throwing it? I don't think Classy's going to have enough time. He's going to need to set off within... Oh... And it's over. It is over, I'm afraid. It is over. So. We have Classy now watching Nova's run. Absolutely insane. Big GG's, guys. Big GG. Excellent work. So. Up next, we will have Blubby versus Classification for the third place match. The loser of that will get third place. And the winner will go into the finals to face Nova, where Nova has to be beaten twice. So, how will that affect Classy? Knowing that Nova could take it. In the first best of three. However, it's a best of five. So. So, guys. With that in mind. I'm going to change this for later on. Change that for later on. And Greaves, if you could clear all the boxes, that would be wonderful. And prep your track stats for the next race. The next race is not going to happen for another 30 minutes. So until quarter past nine, um, Scott or Auris, Auris, Oris, sorry, Scott or Oris, um, who would like to go first? Which one of you is ready? Um, let me know. But guys, big round of applause to both Blub... Um, Big round of applause to both um, Classy and Nova for that race. Absolutely, absolutely amazing racing. So, Scott's ready. Okay. Oris didn't... Uh, Oris? Oris. Yeah, I've got it. I'm going to try. Oris. Yeah. Auris. It's not Auris, is it? It's Oris. Um, do you want me to have time on screen? Um, yeah, yeah, that would be great, Scott. That would be wonderful. So, we are going to go to a bit of our friend, Scotter, for a Ninja Percent Showcase, guys. So, I'm going to try my best to commentate on a Ninja Percent. Okay. So, I want everyone to uh, put a big shout out to um, Scott for us um, for providing some ninja content whilst the uh, participants. This is um, Silk Side at the moment. Scott's just going to load his stream up, I'm sure. Crop better. The crops is the crops absolutely fine. The crop's fine, isn't it? Uh, hang on. There you go. It's because I had the chat hidden at the side. Sorry. Oh, fucking hell, boys. God, I, I literally, I can't, like, put a word wrong, can I, without you lot tearing me a new asshole? <laughs> The crop's pretty shit. So, like I say, we're just waiting for Scott to... Um... Come on, Silk. Silk, slick. You can actually save that. It's really hard. Actually, hold on. Yeah, but like that's the that's the right size. Do you want me to fill it out a bit?
So here we go. Scott is going to play um, the Ninja Percent speed run. So while we're letting the participants have a little break and a little calm down from all the excitement, um, we are going to see Scott doing Ninja Percent. So there you go. Oh, that's pretty big, isn't it? All pretty fucking big, isn't it? Why is it so big? Blocking the content, aren't I? There you go. Probably done this earlier. So here we go. We're going to watch Scott and he's going to try and get a couple of world records on Ninja Percent. So some more speed running content. I'm just going to pop off um, to grab a drink and a snack and I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, guys. Yo, yo, Salsa. So welcome to everyone. We are currently taking a break from the tournament so that um, the riders, mainly Classy, can have a break um, after his match. Seems unfair for him to go straight into another best of three with Blubby um, right away. So here's Scott live to 324 people. You are watching one of the best ninjas in the world. And he's going to speed run through all the in-game, um, in base game ninjas. So not the DLC ones. I don't know why the DLCs aren't added to the um, ninja percent, but maybe someone in the chat can explain. Yeah, Scott Awesome, one of the best um, trial streamers as well. Extremely, extremely. Um, Um, Greaves, um, yeah, the lower bracket final is next. That's the consolidation one. Yeah. Let me know in the chat that you heard me. There's a separate ninja with DLC. Okay. That makes sense. Refined, he's not a troll. Um... Like, guys, okay, so obviously, you know, when we put on a stream like this, we're going to attract some people who aren't usually about, and they may be a little bit different, but unless there is blatant, like, trolling or racism going on, then, you know, it's a typical ch Twitch chat, isn't it? So, you know, let's all just, just if, if there's somebody in chat who, who, you know, isn't doing it for you, 
just, let's just try and ignore them for now, yeah? Like I say, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not certainly about to be moderating any sort of, um, any sort of beef. And Crafter, he might be different, but I don't find him a problem. So, um, let's all just get along. We're currently Scott doing the, um, what is he doing, guys? He's doing Ninja Percent, isn't he? Ninja Percent. So, the aim of the game is to get through all five ninja tracks and as a faster time as possible again scott does hold the world record at what is the world record 1624 getting up onto there very nicely so this is a different kind of speed running guys this is more about doing really tricky obstacles so as you'll see everything is a lot harder and the final track of the speed run the final track of this speed run is very, very tricky. Very tricky. Yeah, that's it. So you can use the Twitch t tools to block people if you don't want to see their messages. Um, but like I say, we'll, we, you know, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not pointing any fingers at anyone. Um, everyone here is as welcome as they are. There'll just be no blatant trolling. And if a mod does tell you to calm down, please listen to their warnings. Um, they're only trying to do a good job as well. So happy days for everyone. So Scott entering green belt. Very very good stuff. Fight me, chat. Salsa. No way, mate. What? Well, the only thing I'll fight you for is riddle clues. But I don't think you've got any, so... Alien. Good to see you here, bro. Glad you can make it. So this was one of the very, very sort of like... You know, it's, it's, it's so random, this checkpoint. It's one that I find, uh, I just, it, I can't find any consistency. And as you'll see, even the best ninjas in the world can suffer the same. But getting over there very nicely from Scott. Getting over this checkpoint with ease. Now the T. This is the tricky one, but Scott is going to slow climb it and fender. Now for the squish, which he gets first try. Really good stuff. This obstacle, not so difficult. Just a couple of back wheel hops. Easily, easily done by Scott. This checkpoint I find particularly difficult as I am terrible at going up vertical walls, especially ones with little kinks in them like that. But Scott, again, just absolutely insane ninja skills here. Absolutely insane. Checkpoint nine, I think, is a bit random. I don't do it that way. I do it the harm's way. But... I ain't going to tell Scott how to ninja. Not a chance. This might be the one. No, he hits his head. Getting it up. I ain't terrible at getting it up. I'm terrible at getting up the wall. And Scott does get it. Brilliant stuff. On to checkpoint 10. This one can be particularly tricky. But not too difficult. For me, the next checkpoint is the hardest one for me. Because I cannot. I don't know how to do this. What Scott's doing now. That. That switch from the back wheel to the front wheel. So Scott going straight over. No hanging around. Oh, he does hit the back wheel though. So currently only 1 minute 30 behind his time. An excellent run. And he's up and he's across. On to black belt, guys. Straight on to black belt. So thanks to anyone who's new to the stream and who's followed. Um, if you would like to donate towards the prize pool, guys, um, we're currently looking at about 800 and something dollars. 
for the entire prize pool. So you guys have really pulled it out of the bag for this. You've really made it worthwhile for the riders. Um, we have payments received. We have payments received. So let's have a look. Let's just pop over here and have a look. We have some 12 euros from someone. 12 euros. 12 euros. 12 euros. Are they all the same? No, they're not. Um, I have four payments of 12 euros with no name on them. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I am wondering if Corrin, if that might have been um, you, my man, when you were trying with your... Um, when you were trying with your uh, credit card there. Maybe have a look on your um, statements, my man. Because I've got four payments for 12 euros um, in the PayPal. So thank you for whoever that was. And if it was a mistake, uh, Corin, don't worry. We can get that sorted out, mate. All right. Um, don't worry, Corin. If it is, don't worry. We'll get that sorted out, my man. Okay. And if it was you who just wanted to send 12 euros, then thank you very much. That will be highly appreciated. So Scott getting a bit caught up on CP10, but he's going to go for the wheelie up, the backwards wheelie up the hill. And then he's going to go for that front flip. Oh, he doesn't get it. Mom is going to be so mad. Don't worry about it, Corin. Um, we will get that fixed for you, okay? I will make sure that, that that's all sorted out. Don't panic. The payment probably hasn't even gone through yet. So here we go, Scott finally making it across. Still on excellent pace for such a track. I mean, is this Ninja level 3, I think? Is it Ninja level 3? Possibly a hard 2? I think it's a level 3. Oh, Scott not getting the, re the recovery there. Easy 4. Easy 4. So hard 3. Hard 3, borderline 4. Maybe like 1 or easy for checkpoint now I'm not a ninja myself so I can't oh Scott get in up there yes he does he's yoloed the slide onto the back wheel bounce You've really got to get some height off this slide but guys for anyone who hasn't played Trials Ninjas this stuff is absolutely ridiculously hard to pull off None of what Scott has just done is easy at all. And there he goes. He is onto Black Belt, the final track of the speed run. I've passed green myself. I haven't passed blue yet. I can't even get past checkpoint one of blue. So here's Scott, the only person in the world to zero fault this track. The only person in the world. Nobody else has done it. The only person who's come close is RJ, I think, with a zero fault, uh, with a three fault. And that was a long time ago. Scott on PB pace for black belt. Gets a slow climb onto his back wheel. He'll hop onto his front wheel here to get a back wheel hop over to there. He's looking good for this checkpoint. Scott has one of the most amazing faps in the world. Like a million faps per second. There's no touching him when it comes to lifting that back wheel up. 
Hello, Calculus Man. Welcome, bro. Good to see you, my man. So, this checkpoint is very long. So, if you hit those bombs um, at the top here, you have to go all the way back down to the bottom there. Scott can get it up real easy. He can get that back wheel up real easy. Here we go. Second attempt, and he underslides it. What do we call that? Scott's been practicing his fap since age eight. Hands are made for fapping, and his cheeks are made for clapping. And we've got Harrows, the new blue belt world record holder. So Scott getting stuck on CP2. Uh, 480 if you can, blubs. Or 540. 540 will probably be alright. Yeah, 540, mate. Just because um, I've had some really bad weather over my over my house this evening, and we had a bit of a tech issue at the start. Everything's calmed down now. I think everything will be fine, but there's no need for 1080 60. That's for sure. Yeah, arrows, absolutely. What is 480p? Yeah, thanks, Boris. So Scott, clearing checkpoint two. Happy days. Now look at these wall climbs. They're the easy things for the ninjas, I think. I think the wall climbs are probably one of the easier obstacles. You might look and go, ah, so that's a vertical wall. How do you get up that? But these guys and their throttle control, absolutely insane. Passing the checkpoint with ease. Checkpoint six. This one can be a bit of a pain, a bit tricky to recover from. But I think this will be one where Scott will aim to restart at the checkpoint down there rather than trying to save it like he has other checkpoints. No probs, Greaves, man. Thanks for helping out, bro. It just makes it easier for me to see a message from you as well. Because I think you're the only mod with purple text as well. No, the tourney's not over. We're just having a break um, for the uh, for the riders to be able to just have a break between matches. We can't expect them to go from a big match straight into another big match. It's just not fair. That's it. So this is what I meant about Scott maybe trying to recover it. Because he knows it's going to take less time if he doesn't have to keep getting back up there. But... It is much easier to pass the checkpoint from that bit there, as you'll see now. Look at that lift. He brings that back wheel from his bike almost being vertical. So on to checkpoint seven. Tricky checkpoint. Lots of tech going on here. So you're into a into an endo, then into a back wheel hop with a little brake in it, so a brake bounce. Then you have to position yourself very, very nicely Scott doing the stationaries. We call them stationary bunny hops. And up onto the platform of checkpoint eight. This, guys, is the hardest track in Trials Rising. Scott is just making it look like child's play here. So look at the recoveries these guys can do. Even if they don't hit it perfectly, they can make something of it. They can bring it back. They hold on to it. They only need a tiny little bit of platform to have control of the bike. As you'll see. So this is another strand of trials where we see the speed running in the tournament itself. We also have another strand of ninjas where it's all about extremely hard tracks that are very hard to just pass. It's not really about the time. 
until lots of people have got the time or the the amount of faults it's more about the amount of faults that you're looking the time not so important what's important is getting a low fault count obviously for scott here he's doing a full ninja speed run where he speed runs white yellow orange green blue and black belt so a little bit different the faults aren't a concern here it's all about time but if he wasn't doing the speed run, it would just be about getting a low fault number. Struggling with checkpoint 10. It's a very hard checkpoint. Our friend Tom Ward currently on a campaign to beat the track. And I do believe that this is where he's got up to. Somebody could tell me if I'm right or wrong. There we go. Scott up to checkpoint 11. He's going to hop straight across. No need to drop down there. But if he doesn't make it up the checkpoint first try, which it looks like he probably should. Again, look at that fap, guys. He's able to bring that back wheel from below the platform. And there we have it, guys. We have Scott finishing the run. And he still hits a diamond medal. Absolutely GG's. Big claps for our friend Scotter. Thank you very much, Scott, for coming along. Ah, yes. Mr. Hayes. Yeah, show your zero fault. Absolutely. We've still got five or six minutes. Yeah, go for it. Talk to the bank. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Corin. Yeah, yeah, get it all sorted out, bro. Like I say, I'm not in the business of stealing people's mistakes. So don't worry. You'll get all your money back. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing... Scott, where you gone? There you are. Oof. Yeah, so um, I'm guessing, Corin, that you um, only meant to send the one 12 euro payment. Don't worry, everything will get sorted. You know, your money is safe with me. So here, we're now going to watch... Um... Oh. We're now going to watch Scott's zero fault run on black belt. So the track you've just watched him struggle on a couple of checkpoints. You're going to see him whistle through the whole thing now in 4 minutes 14 without taking a fault. Probably one of the biggest achievements in Trials Rising so far in terms of ninjas. Um, harder tracks from Track Central have been passed. But to be the first to zero fault black belt is insane. We've had lots of people passing Black Belt recently. Um, Hayes in the chat, Monsieur Hayes, or Monsieur, Monsieur Hayes. Um, he got it recently. Lots of other people in the chat will have it. So dropping back down. So keep an eye on those inputs, guys. You'll see how crazy the inputs are. Um, you got about five five minutes until the next match, Oris. Um, but your thing, um, you'll be doing your tandems after Blubby and Classy's match. Okay, so that could last 20 to 40 minutes, depending on um, how it plays out. So you've certainly got time to grab yourself a snack and uh, put something in your belly. So here we are, Scott again on a zero fault run. This is a replay, so he's not doing this live, guys. This is a replay, but an absolutely insane achievement. Absolutely insane. We're all blown away by world records all the time, but only one person has zero faulted black belt, and that is Scott. So Donut's saying about only 70 people have passed this track. So that, that shows you how difficult it is. I haven't even got it unlocked and I've been playing Trials for 10 years. So it shows you how incredibly hard and how nuanced and how much time these guys have, must have put in to develop these skills. But here we see Scott making that look absolutely piss easy. So again, look at that. Look at that left trigger, how fast it flashes. 
Yes. Our young Scottish friend. What a guy. What an absolute guy. He's helped out a hell of a lot with the uh, tournament organisation, guys. And he's just been there at the drop of a hat to help out. So big claps to Scott for helping out, guys. He's a, he's a, a very long-standing and well-served member of the community. So, uh, like I say, big respect. Much love going out to Scott. And that goes for all the other people who helped with the organisation of this. To the people who started it by just begging me to do a tournament. Um... To the people who have helped me pick tracks and organise and hash over ideas. It's all been so helpful, guys. Um, and like I say, I've got something something in the pipeworks. I've listened to what everyone said about this tournament. And I think that we can adjust certain things. That means that every single person can get involved. From more people on the mod team. Um, the viewers can get more involved and have more interactivity. And there will be space for anyone to have a race. I've got something planned, but I won't talk about it now. I'll just let you know that there's some plans coming and to keep an eye out in the uh, Trials um, Discords. So uh, if you've not joined either of those, make sure you get over to the Trials Records Discord and the uh, Trials Community Discord. Um, they'll serve you very well in terms of information and getting in touch with the right people if you want to talk trials that's the place to do it yeah alien we're about to start blubby versus classy mate you might want to hold off on the shower he almost head bonk oh and hearts the heart must have been beating there scott can you um remind us how was it like 180 beats per minute or something absolutely insane Absolutely insane. So next we have. Blubby versus classy. So everyone, big shout out to Scott. Thank you very much. We're just going to watch his Savannah Safari um, world record as well. So we'll watch this and then we'll get over to the um, then we'll get over to the next race. OK, it's now quarter past. So we'll just watch this quick run. And uh, then we'll get over to uh, get over to the next race. I hope Classy and Blubby are prepared. Um, I'm seeing some names in the chat. I'm not going to call them out, but I see you there, guys. I see some OGs there. So howdy doody. Oh, trials! What are you playing at? There we go. So again, Scott setting this world record today, getting multiple PBs and taking it below 42, I believe. His reaction, we'll watch that in a sec. Canyon crash. What about Canyon crash, Champy? Scott done a thigh slap. Did he? Yeah. So, big thanks to Scott there, guys. Big round of applause to Scott. Let's see what this is. I almost hit my head. <sighs> yes, Scotty. Go on, son. I mean, you're breathing like a rapist, but fair play, man. Fair play. Look at that chat. That was an event, guys. Oh that was an God. event. <sighs> Jesus. Holy fuck, man. Good effort. Absolutely insane. So, guys... We are heading over to Blubby versus classification. So, we're entering the losers final, guys. Okay. 
Breathing like a rapist. <laughs> Breathing like Ted Bundy. Um, I'm going to make his breathing my ringtone. E epic. So, um, Blubby, are you ready? Classy, are you ready? Could you just give us a shout in chat, perhaps? So, another two extremely decorated riders. Blubby, the keyboard warrior who worked on the game. He was one of the testers. He was the guy who set all of, or the majority of the diamond medals. So we are going to see another great race, guys. Another epic race. So we head over to Emerald City. We're heading over to Australia. The DLC 2 tracks. Um, I thought, hang on, I'm, hang on, I'm not sure what track we're playing, guys. What track are we playing, Al Oris? What track are we playing? I thought it was Emerald. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so Blubby's just going to get onto Emerald City. And once he is loaded in, he needs to load his ghost. So... There we go. Third place. Blubby, I think, has been playing today, and I think he will have made an improvement on that. So, good luck, guys. We are entering the loser's final. The winner of this match will go back up to the winner's bracket to face Novastar in the final, and the loser will be out of the tournament in third place. However, the loser of this race will win a prize. So, there's nothing to lose but everything to gain, okay? So... I'm going to say, in three, I'm going to wait for Blubby to restart, actually, because um, he's so far ahead. So I'm just going to wait for Blubby to restart. And then once he restarts, three, two, one, when both riders are going, I will reset the timer. So best of luck, guys. We are on Emerald City. Let's see what Classy and Blubby can do. So Blubby and Classy are off. And we are underway, guys. We are underway. We are underway. So, let's see who wins. Who is going to be the first to put a run in? Lovey certainly made his way through the track much further than Classy has so far. Everything to play for. Still 10 minutes left. This is a best of three. So Blubby with a 29-170. For a 29-170, Blubby takes the lead. <coughs> so this is a DLC 2 track. It's a track that we haven't seen in a tournament so far. And Classy with a 29-252. 252 so it's not enough but very close both riders putting in very close first runs i think we're in for an exciting race here guys never underestimate blubby the guy has been playing trials for a very long time and has been at the top of his game especially as a keyboard player not many people play on keyboard and certainly not many make it to the top levels of of the game doing so so again blubby making his way through the track nicely And coming across the line. Now 29-132. It is enough to PB. 29-132. So again, a small PB. Not pushing the boundaries so far that Classy won't be able to catch up. He's completely capable of this. And again, he was mess messaging me earlier. And he was feeling world records. So you never know. Classy going green. Classy still green. He's lost the time. And he resets. Like, I think that could have been a good enough. A 28. What was that? A 28. I missed Blubby. A 28. I missed it. Sorry, guys. Can somebody confirm? It was a 28 something. 857. Thank you, Price. A 28. 857. Classy got some work to do now. He's looking for about a 0. 0.45. 0. 0.45. Oh, 
Close on the PB. GG's, bub. Classy going green again. We're just coming up. We are one quarter of the way through the first session, guys. Remember, it's a best of three, so... No matter who loses this particular match, they will have a chance to regain a point in the next one. We had the first race go into one all between Nova and Classy. Is there potential to see another one all with a decider? Classy not getting that over. Classy going green again. Wanting that reset is... I think it's worth, if you've just got one small mistake, it's certainly worth carrying on. But then again, if there's another mistake, it's a reset. Blubby oversliding himself again. A very similar place. So we have Blubby on the keyboard on the left and Classy is on the controller on the right. They're two different play styles, but you can see you can still be an absolute speedrun god. Using the keyboard. Blubby going for the reset. He's not happy with that. Yeah, so the winner of this best of three goes to face Nova in the grand final, which will be a best of five, with the potential for that to be played twice, because Nova needs to be beaten twice. So big advantage for Nova going into the grand final. Who's going to join him? Will it be Blubby or will it be Classification? Again, Blubby resetting, he's not happy. Classy, always there with his ghost, but that one particular checkpoint there with the little um, sun lounger can be very, very tricky to get that back wheel down very, very soon and get as much traction as possible. Again, with trials, it's all about minimising airtime, getting that back wheel down for traction. So Blubby there, getting that down nice and quickly. He's looking very good here. He's gone green. Blubby coming to the final throws of the track. Will he PB? I don't think he will. The slide not good enough, but that's an 8-4-3. So another PB for Blubby. An 8-4-3. A 28-8-4-3. Coming up five minutes. We're halfway through the session now, guys. Plus he has some work to do here to catch up. Currently on a 29-2-5-2. Blubby on a 28-8-4-3. Really exciting racing here, guys. Blubby earlier, I spoke to him in private messages and he talked about needing all the time he could get to practice. Will that take take its toll on him? Was he practicing before the races? Classy again, going extremely fast. Keep your eyes on Classy, guys. Keep your eyes on Classy. I think we might be looking at a PB. And he takes a 28-666. He goes into the lead with a 28-666. The mark of the beast. Blubby with a 28-8-8-9. It won't be enough. Classy. Let's just reset. There we go. We're good. Classy taking the lead from, from Blubby. With a 28-6-6-6. That run was looking insane, guys. Hell yeah. Somebody asked for a 6-6-6. They finally got it. The, the number of the beast. It's the mark of Classy. The beast that he is. But don't count Blubby out. He's a monster too. So Classy getting a very nice slide there. Very nice. But not enough. A 7-5-2. It's not going to be enough. Classy going absolutely ham on Blubby here. So there it shows you. It's worth resetting, guys. If you're not on that run and you know you're against a very good rider, it's worth resetting a lot. Small mistakes are going to add up. Very fast in this at this level. Classy again, getting so much height there. Going green again. Getting such a nice connection. Will he get over this? It is okay. Not the fastest, but it's okay. Let's see. Can he improve on his 6-6-6? A 28-6-6, and he overslides it. Not enough. Coming up to three. We've got three minutes left. Yeah, the record is a 28-3-2-1. So still 0.4 off world record. Still quite a lot of lot of time to get the world record. And as you'll see, the world record is currently held by classification. So he needs to be green on his timer. 
have a chance of beating the world record. But let's see. Nope, he's gone for the reset. Two minutes 20 left, guys. This is the first race of the best of three to decide third place and who goes into the grand finals against Novastar. Yes, this could be true. Uh, French Mafia, Classy could hold the world record on all tracks. And that will put him in real good stead. But Blubby, I'm sure, will be in the top five on all three as well. So, again, it's no counting out of Blubby. So again, Classy, will he hit the slide nicely? He does. Is it enough for Obsession PB? 28.719, it won't be enough. Blubby's still with the 28.843, only 0.2 separating the two riders. A very close race so far. Coming up to 1 minute 15 seconds left of the session, guys. So a good amount of the session gone so far. Blubby putting in four runs, Classy is putting two. All the stats and information will be available to see after the tournament. Every race, every time, all broken down so you can see exactly how it played out. So, less than a minute now, guys. 50 seconds left of the session. Don't count Blubby out yet, guys. You can still go green. Absolutely. I'm a big, big stats guy. I think with trials and speed running, it's very important to know stats. Classy getting frustrated with the uh, bench there. Let's see what Blubby can do. He just got an excellent slide. Is it going to be enough? It's a 793. It's not enough to take Classy, I'm afraid. Another PB, but it's not enough. A 793. Coming up to 10 seconds left in the session, guys. 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. That's the session, so we'll let Blubby finish this run. And that is the session over. We have Classy. Taking it with a 28.666, the mark of the beast. So, we'll let the riders make their way onto the next track. If you could change the track stats. Um, that was very close. Um, very, very close. So, next up, we have Alcatraz. Again, another very technical track. A very hard line to hit. I've spoken to Classification about this one. He says there is lots of time left, but the likelihood of a world record in 10 minutes, next to nothing. But let's not count either rider out. Okay, we're going to get straight into it, guys. Okay, so get those clear. And I'm going to say, when both riders have loaded the track, I'll do a countdown and then we'll start and then I'll reset the timer when both riders are riding. Alcatraz could happen, but it's got that big time saver from Classy. So in three, two, one, both riders can begin whenever they want. And we will reset the timer once both riders have started. Blubby has started. And Classy should follow very shortly. So Blubby getting a small 10 second advantage there to get, get started. But I don't think that will put Classy off. So again, classy world record holder, but you will find that Blubby is very close to the top as well. So it's unfortunately, there's one really big time saver in this track that is incredibly hard to hit. Classy going for it straight away. He is not hanging around. Let's see, will Blubby go for it? Oh, he overslides himself. Oh, little frame drop there. Let's fix that. There we go. No problem. Oh. Classy stream just having a bit of a moment. We should be okay, though, guys. We should be okay. Everything looks good. So both riders currently looking good. Classy. I'm going to need some help with the times here, guys. 
Low classy with a 45-4-1. I did not see Blubby's time. Can somebody confirm Blubby's time for me, please? Because I did not see it. Both riders coming to the end of the track at very close. A 46-4-2, so it's not going to be enough for Blubby. Currently, Classy in the lead. Again, only 0 0.1 separating. A point... Yes, a point 0.1, exactly, almost. Separating both riders. So you know these races are going to be close. Both riders pulling out extremely close to each other on their first completed runs. This is insane work, guys. So for the people watching, you are seeing some of the top, top trials players that have ever lived racing each other here. This is an honour and a privilege to see such competition. So both riders again getting that front flip down. Getting up that hill nicely. It's this front flip into a slide that really can save some time. And Blubby oversliding himself there again. Classy however managing to hold it. Will he go for the... Oh he looks like he's trying it. Let's see. He does get it. That was insane guys. He did get it. Oh my... No. He did it within 10 minutes. But he's going to hit the other fence. No. No. Cracktification. Taking Cracked to a new level. But Blubby is still just as good. Again, these tracks, the world records held by classification. But Blubby will be very close. So, Classy again. Let's see. Will he get it this time? I don't think he will. He's going to go below for this one. He gets through there nicely, but you can see it does not even come close to how much time going over the top saves. But coming up to the final of the track, let's see a 41-0-1-6. It won't be enough. Yeah, Classy has taken this to some new heights, guys. This is absolutely insane. Classy again. So let's see Blubby. He's going underneath. Yes, he is. And he's on green pace. He's looking really good, guys. Losing a bit of time there, but he's still good. We could be seeing a PB from Blubby. He's gone very high there. What a shame. And that is... Oh, and he resets. Probably wasn't going to be enough. Could have been very close. That could have been potential to take Classy's PB, session PB. So let's see Classy over the fence again. Are we going to see that insane time saver again? He's gone for it. Nope. Just a straight reset. He knows it's not going to work. He knows when he's hit it right. That's the thing with these players, guys. They know when they're getting it right. They can tell from their inputs before they're actually in the air whether they're going to be able to do the time saver or not. The nuances these guys understand is just out of this world. We can all press the trigger. We can all wiggle the stick. And we can all make our way through these tracks. But I don't think it takes a, a, a whole nother level of understanding to do what these guys do and as I say I've been trying to do what these guys do for 10 years and I just can't come close though so the maddest respect classy again is going to have to take the lower route which does slow you down a lot for that part but let's see can he come with a session PB he's got to get over the fence he does that nicely he went a little bit far and as soon as that back wheel dug in just lost every bit of speed we can all wiggle our sticks, boys. Some more than others. Now, that's definitely uh, a fact. So, coming up, we're over halfway through the session. Four minutes, 25 left of the session, guys. This is the second track, Alcatraz. If Blubby doesn't manage to win this session, then he is out of the tournament in third place, taking home a substantial prize. Yeah, Alien, you're right, mate. I am shit. Like, I spent four hours on a cheat bike and still could only manage 12th. And now I'm 13th. 
I mean, I've got a good run on windmills, you know, if you want to see some pog racing. But anyway, Classy, coming up to the end. Look at this, guys. Look at this. A 40-49. This is insane. A 40.049, taking 0.5 off his session PB. Absolutely nuts, Classy. Show him why he is the king of fusion and potentially the best speedrunner on trials ever. Potentially. So classy, blubby. Oh no, blubby. That could have been a PB, a genuine global rank PB. Still needs that session PB to keep himself in the competition. Coming up three minutes left of the session, guys. With two thirds of the way through. And Classy is currently looking like he's heading off to the finals with Nova. We can't count B B Blubby out yet. Let's see what he's made of. Classy is looking very good. He is looking very smooth, very confident. And he looks just right at home at this style of track. Again, are we going to see the time saver? We don't, unfortunately. Doesn't quite get enough. Uh, and perhaps the body, uh, the rider's body's position, not quite right for that particular time saver. Two minutes 15 left in the session, guys. Both riders putting in incredibly close first times, but Classy taking it down to the ground with a 40 0 Once again, going green. Oh, no. Doesn't get the slide. Restart. One minute 40 left, guys. One minute 40 left in the session. Blubby again. Managing to go green again. I think what this tournament shows is that all these riders still have much more potential in them and given the circumstances I think we'll be seeing some more world records over the next few weeks So just a minute left in this session now, guys. Classy going absolutely ham on that slide. He's got to go for the time saver here. It would be silly not to. And he's over. Now, will he hit over the time saver? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Are we going to be seeing an Alcatraz world record? I don't think so. But we're certainly going to be seeing a session PB. And we've got a 1-2-1. One, one. It's not enough. But still absolutely insane. 30. 30 seconds left. Classification hitting one of the hardest time savers in the game. Twice within 10 minutes. Under pressure during a race. Where everything counts. Guys, big claps for both riders. But an especially big clap for Classy's performance on this track. We're coming up to 7 seconds. 5 Four, three, two, one. Blubby can finish this. Classy cannot. Can Blubby steal it? At the last moment, he is going to have to pull something magic out of the bag here to level this one back out. But he is running very well here. Is he going to go for it? He knows he needs to go for it, and he does hit it. But it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, guys. Guys, we could be seeing... Oh, no. And that is it. Big, big respect to Blubby. Big respect. Coming into the tournament. Playing the way he did. Getting up to third place. He takes home a substantial money prize, guys. A very substantial money prize. It is well worth the effort. Classy there. Just... The, it says it in the name, doesn't it? It's just pure class, guys. So, I think... And this is no disrespect to Blubby. Amazing love. Big love going out to Blubby. A massive part of the community. A well-loved and well-respected member. His name will ring bells for a long, long time. Big clap to Blubby, guys. GG.
but classy. And I think, I think we are going to see. Now, just to get an idea, when this tournament was put together and it became clear that Classification and Nova Star were going to be in the same tournament with the potential for them to end up in a final. Is this the viewer's choice? Are we going to see Classy become the new trials record champion? Yeah, no problem, Aris. We're good, mate. We're good. Give yourself five minutes, bro. I'm just going to get set up for the grand final. So, great effort, Blubby. Much love to you, my man. Thank you for taking part. And uh, like I say, we'll sort your prize out very soon, okay? Great effort. Big claps to Blubby. The comeback. Classy does need to win. Yeah, Classy gets another break, so we're going for another 30 minutes. Oris. Oris. Oris is going to... Guys, you've got me so fucking self-conscious about how I say his name now. Blech. Um, No, it's um, zero out of five. So we're going to uh, first of three wins. Okay. So let me set this up. Nova Star versus classification in the grand final. I hope everyone's excited. So in about in about 30 minutes, guys, we'll go to the grand final, okay? Are you alright with that, Classy? Are you cool with 30 minutes? Is that good for you, my man? Um, the tracks, um, the track list in, can be found on the Discord. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Somebody will be able to tell you. Somebody will be able to tell you the tracks. But we're starting with Rally of the Kings, okay? So, we are going to head over, when he's ready, to Tandem Speedrun Showcase. Okay, so we are going to watch. We are going to watch um, Alris do some Tandem Speedrunning. Okay, so let me explain how this works to you guys, okay? The tandem solo, yes, absolutely. So on PC, what you can do is you can map um, your controller to a virtual controller and the keyboard at the same time, okay? So the way that works is basically when Alris presses the trigger on his controller, it's as if he's pressing the trigger... Oh, no, sorry. He uses the keyboard. So when he presses the gas on the keyboard, it basically virtualizes another controller and he can play as one person on the tandem. Thank you very much, uh, G. I'm going to try and set unique, uniques, uniques, I'm going to say. Uniques, G. Yeah, but glad, glad you're all enjoying it, guys. OK, this is what we're here to do is to do this for you guys yeah no so once uh Alris is um finished uh once he's finished eating we can get underway so 480 is the best we're getting i'm afraid but Alris will be joining us very soon for half an hour of um Breaking Bad, he's going to attempt to get the world record back. I don't think you can get banned for this. The Blaze JP. Um, let me, I need to see that message from Blaze because you were the guy. Yes, we will show that as well, Blaze. Absolutely. While we're waiting, let's go to YouTube and we'll look for... Actually, let's go trials records. Trials records. Let's show the website off. If it's working, rip. <laughs> right, so trials records. Here we go, guys. So 
Alris, if you just wait one second, bro, I'm just going to show them um, your um, thingy run, okay? So just wait one, Mo. Um, so, oh, we need to go to Fusion, don't we? Trials Fusion. So this is Trials Records, guys. This is the website I built to do all the Trials World Records. There's loads of data there. And here we've got a TAS table, so we can look at way of the machine. Um, so let's go and have a look at that. So this is the Taz run that Aris did of Way of the Machine. So this is absolutely insane. This is done. Everyone must know what a Taz is. And I think this has the comparison as well. It does. So we'll watch this, then we'll head over to see Aris. Aris Oris. Oris, I'm sorry. The tawny has it all, guys. Like I say, my job is to entertain you guys. Okay? That's what I like to do. There are people who don't know what Taz means. Well, you can explain it to them, Alien. It means tool-assisted speedrun. So what Aurus is doing here is he's got the ability to um, control the inputs on a frame-by-frame -frame basis so that he can get a very good run by using tools. Now... This is all done offline, so he doesn't post these scores to the leaderboards. So he is not doing any damage to the leaderboards. And this is an excellent, excellent um, demonstration of what can be done in trials if you can hit that perfect run. And there you go. So now what we're going to see... Now we're going to see... A comparison. So you'll see... Classifications world record run on the right. You'll see they're both pretty even at the moment, but now Oris is ahead. So Oris a long way ahead now. You'll see he just keeps making his way through the track without slowing down at all. And this is the difference between a human and the ability to use a computer tool. The manufacture the inputs almost so again a, a, a brilliant technical um and ski or don't uh ski or don't is it called ski or don't yeah i can do that not a problem so you'll see that oris is heading over Eleven hours it took Oris to do this, but yeah, we'll watch the other um, run as well. This is a very long track, so this took Oris a long time. But look at this, Oris just about to pass the finish line, and classification still not at the last checkpoint. Absolutely insane there. Great work. So we'll have a look at the ski or ride one as well, because that's insane. Yeah, Classy wasn't far off. I'm a I'm a true entertainer. Thank you, man. It's not an easy extreme. The guys are just nuts. So here, look at that. Look, absolutely nuts. Look at this. Look at that. You can't do that. You just can't do that. It should be illegal. So here we are. Comparison. So we have the world record on the right. Oris with his Taz world record, but you'll see that they are very close all the way up until the end. So again, not that much in between them at the moment, but these slides just, just blow everything out of the water. There's some really insane stuff here. And then the underslide, there is no catch in that. You won't catch that unless you do exactly the same. And over the line, two seconds faster, guys. You can see here that he was 1.3 seconds faster. So, absolutely absurd. You are correct. So, we're now going back to our main guy to see some speed running that he was on the tandem. Three seconds faster. So, absolutely absurd. You are correct. So, we're now going back.
guy. Oris, you're going to have to turn my mic off, mate, because it's coming back through. So here we go, guys. So, like, you can just Google tool assisted speed runs um, and you'll learn everything you need to know. So, here we go, guys. We've got half an hour. Of Oris trying to beat the tandem world record solo. He's currently racing the world record. Best of luck. How's it going, Zerg? Good to see you, bro. Welcome along. Oh, no, Oris. No, so the tandem won't post to the global leaderboards um, because obviously it's incredibly overpowered compared to um, compared to the other bikes. And it like, you know, only PC players can do this on their own. Whereas on console, you do need another person in the room or to have another pair of hands. Um, there is part of the uh, Trials Rising riddle and he's looking good here. Could we be seeing world record live? Oh, and he scuffed the slide. What a shame. You can do it on Xbox. I think you can do it on Xbox by using like um, the accessibility options for disabled people. Yeah, you're right, Fable. I thought that was possible. Fable, you should make a um, tutorial on that and pop it on your YouTube channel, man, because I'd, I'd really like to give that a go. Absolutely, Zerg. I remember you, bro. I wouldn't ever forget you, man. Oh, those splits are his PB, not world record. Thanks, Roots. Oh, you don't have an Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can do it on PC with two Xbox One controllers as well. Um, Oris isn't even using... Um, use your toes and your nose and you'll be good. Or if you're crafter, man, you're dick and balls. <laughs> Yo, happy finals. Love to see you, Jack. Big love to you, my bro. Once all this quarantine shit's done, I'm coming to fuck none eating up, mate. I've had enough of sitting in. It's fucking boring. <laughs> Come on, Nova. So we know Jack. Jack wants to win.
Don't get him started. <laughs> Yeah, so um, Oris here isn't actually using any controllers. He's using um, virtual controller software. So he uses his keyboard to do the inputs. And then his keyboard like, and the operating system can mimic a um, another controller, basically. What county am I in? I'm in Norfolk, mate. I'm just outside of Norwich. So what time is the world record time on this? Yeah, the boys are here first. What's that mean? Yeah, you were just one of the first subs, mate. He's northern, don't listen. Fuck off, I'm from, Nor I'm from Norfolk, boys. I'm a, I'm a Norfolk boy. 42-4. Four. 42-5-7-3. Cheers, Scott. Yeah, I know you are rude. You, you were, um, where was it? Stalham? Is it Stalham you were on about? I did a, I did a plumbing job in Stalham once. None eaten bound. Let's all go to none eaten, boys. Greetings from Austria. How's it going, Justin? Not Nor Norfolk ain't much better, mate. No, it ain't. It ain't better. I, mean, I never said it was good. <laughs> The greatest commentators come from Norfolk. Absolutely. Winterton, that was it. That was it. It's not far from Stalham, though, is it? So let me tell you about the job I did in Stalham, boys, right? So I'm working with this cokehead plumber, right? And he's on the job sniffing coke all day. Proper shit coke as well, right? So I'm working with this plumber. We call him Dodgy Paul, right? And he's got this job with this American woman. And she lives in Stalham in this, like chalet thing on the coast right and so we're going to refit a new bathroom okay now she's off on holiday so that means that we're left alone in in her little chalet thing yeah and so we're doing our jobs and you know you make a mess doing some plumbing we're putting some tiles up we've made a mess now we've got we've got a vacuum in the van so we could go out and get that but we're always like ah fuck it we'll have a quick look to see if there's one laying around here so this place is really small, right? This this little chalet, it's really small. So there's only like two or three places a Hoover could be, okay? A vacuum cleaner. So I just go into this room and I open a cupboard that looks like a place where you'd keep a vacuum cleaner. And I shit you not, boys, the whole cupboard was full from the floor to the ceiling with whips, chains, dildos, fucking everything. Every fucking thing you'd need to have a dirty time. A dirty old rut and a dirty old bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, like, there's me. Like, I think I was, like, 18 at the time. And I've just cracked open a cupboard to be presented with, like, leather, whips, dildos, chains, handcuffs, like, paddle boards with spikes on them. Fucking all sorts. It was, like, proper 50 shades of grey. He's a kinky bitch. <laughs> Did I spank the crackhead? No, I didn't. I did not. He ended up going to prison. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. So the plumber I was working with, he didn't have any um, any of the gas certificates. So he ended up fucking getting locked up, didn't he? <laughs> Is this it, boys? Is this it? New world record? Uh, not enough, I don't think. It's not enough. No, not enough. So close, 0 .09, 0 point, point 0.09 off. So close, man, so close. Fucking hard. How did those boys get so close? So, water time. Thank you, Greaves. Thank you very much. So, guys, um, do you want Auris to carry on? Auris, I keep saying Auris, Oris. Do you want Oris to carry on with um, Breaking Bad or would you like him to try another track? If you liked him to try another track, start posting them in the chat.
He also said no meme tracks either. Canyon Crash. So it seems that um, Roms, Roms is a uh, is the tandem king at the moment. Inferno on on the tandem it is yeah yeah on the tandem it's silly. Um, windmills. Classy and Nova on the tandem together. Vietnam vaults get those slides. So, um, Roms, are you playing with another player in the room? Or are you doing what Oris is doing? <sighs> Gone a bit far there, son. Oh. oh, he's off solo. Guys, sir. Uh, it's a mash to get that um, front flip in at the very start there. How about black gold? Could be. Canyon Catastrophe. There's some videos on YouTube with Tandem. Yeah? That tandem bike is so heavy. Black belt with tandem. Oris already literally said, if anyone, ban them, he said. He said, ban them if they want black belt. But as I said, Brad's a bit of an institution, so you can't really do that. Not really allowed to ban the guy. Not diamond. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You play with the same screen. Wow. Is there no delay then? Brad has sees himself out banned. <laughs> Poor Brad. Who banned him? Who banned the guy? Oh, he's back. Thank God. Oh. You can get that, Aris. So, um, Windmills was another one. Windmills. Thirty timer on chat. No, we don't need a thirty timer. I know when we started and I know when we finish. Any excuse to pan Brad as I'm there? <laughs> Who won? It's not over yet, Ron. We are going into um, the grand finals with Classy and Nova in about ten fifteen minutes. Where's there a 30 second repeat timer? Oh, there was. Yeah, no idea what that was. So, Oris taking the lower route as you would. Now, is the time saver possible? Is the time saver possible on this? I think. I think he's going to check it out. I don't know whether you can get that front wheel hooked on there. God, it's going to need to be like a direct, like a much more direct um, approach there. Yeah, Classy would have played the most tonight. Though Blubby playing one best of three, Nova and Classy. Classy will, will have played two best of threes. And at least one best of five. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Bit too early. Bit too early. What's that time saver? Do you not know the time saver, uh, Mafia? Yeah, so you do a front flip and then you grab your front wheel. Oh, that was nice. You grab your, front, uh, your back wheel and you fender grab onto the windmill and then you hang on it for a moment and you let go at the right time and you drop off and you'll see now you watch this so he'll hold on he'll hold on he'll drop off bit too soon 
Oh, no, not too soon. But not quite clear in there. So basically, he's looking to get down to where he bailed from that windmill. But I don't think he likes it. Um... Or MX in the city, either or. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I say, guys, black golf. <laughs> black golf, love it. <laughs> yeah, so like I say, Ron, um, it's not over yet, bro. So, stick around. <laughs> stick around. We'll be starting the finals, grand finals, in about five or ten minutes, okay? Does get some insane speed, this bike. He's going to land very flat there, but he's okay. I wonder if lower route might be better there on this bike. Who discovered that? Um, I can't remember who discovered it. But I discovered a little trick with it, is if you fender, if you fender it, and then basically ride up it a bit, the timings mean that you fall off just at the perfect time. Like, that's, I, I don't know if I'm still top 10 on that, probably not, but I think I was like third at one point on windmills. And that time saver is nuts. It is absolutely nuts. Yo, blub. Welcome back, bro. So there's your third place rider. Um, You got blubby. Your third place winner. Great effort. Great performance. The best performance. The biggest performance. And if you look on the right side of the screen, that little character there, that's Blubby's character. So I'll give it another five or ten minutes, guys. We'll wait for um, Blubby, uh, not Blubby, um, Nova and Classy to pop up in the chat. If you can hear me, Nova or Classy, just let me know when you're sort of ready to get going and uh, we can make a start for the grand finale. Blubby Funko Pop win. I think, can't you get custom Funko Pops? I mean, I looked into having little figurines made, but they're just so expensive for like one-offs, you know. Like, if I wanted my guy in a figurine, I think it was going to cost, like, 800 quid or something. It was insane. Like, and then I then I contacted this, like, clay modelling artist who does, like, plastic plastic models, and they wanted, like, 400 quid, so. Yeah, no, enjoy it, blubs. Enjoy the match, mate, you know? That's one thing, you know, even if there was a a, a competition, I could, you know racing i'd rather watch it i i um, i prefer to digest it than to take part so you know i'm really thankful for all the guys who have taken part yeah and hope you're feeling better bro you know so um the other night blubby performed exceptionally well under the circumstances not only are you in a tournament but you know there's a lot of nasty nasty illness going around at the moment and lots of people are getting getting on well so to perform when not they're not feeling well is is really something i think auris is auris i keep saying auris i think auris has found a uh a track he likes here oh that was so close so close so yeah if um classy or nova could give us a shout in the chat real soon that would be great um just to let us know that you you know here Nova's here, so along the mother road. Just write it in chat, Hayes. Um, Oris doesn't have any sound on. Um, Nova said he's ready. Cool. Are they both ready? Okay, so we'll let we'll let um, Oris play this track, and then we'll head over to the grand finals. Because the time saver on this is going to be piss easy on this bike, isn't it? So, guys, we've got the big, big final coming up, a best of five. And to let you know, um, classification does need to beat Nova twice. Because it is a double elimination and Nova has not lost yet. So the returning champ has not taken a loss yet. 
Yeah, um, Rally of the Kings is a tricky diamond. It's a quite a long track and it's very tech. With some, with a, I think there's like a couple of big time savers. Bad track. <laughs> yes, Tom. Never quite got that world record, my man, but still, I still think you've got second. Pretty sure you're still second on it. What's the tracks for the finals? Yeah, the tracks are there, guys. So, the next um, set of races... Is going to be a best of five. So it's the first to three wins. If Nova is the first to three wins, he takes the crown and remains Trials Records champion. If Classy wins the first set of best of five, then we go to another round with the same tracks so that the riders don't need to practice more. Again, we will have a short break in between that where we may be seeing a grudge match between... Monsieur, uh, Monsieur, Monsieur Hayes and Sandholm. So, let's just have a look. Ski. Um, Benj blazes in here. Don't slander him too much. <laughs> New meta with the tandem, absolutely. So I can hear that the uh, that the final riders are getting ready. So we'll see what Horace can do. He's not getting it. Let's give him one more try at the time saver. So one more try, and then we'll head over to. Uh, could somebody um, pop in the chat? Right in the chat. One more try, Horace. Oh. Let's see. Will he get it? Don't think he's going to get it. And there we go. So, everyone, can we give a big shout out to Oris? He came into the tournament and was unfortunately knocked out in a massive upset by Lorcan. But he's back to show you guys a bit of the tandem speed runs. This could be it. This could be it. It's not going to be it. Okay. And there we go. So. Great effort. Thank you very much to uh, Oris. Much appreciated for filling in there, man. Um, so now we need to get rid of that. And we are back in action. We are back in action. So, OnlyFans. <laughs> Love it, bro. Love it. So... We have entering into the grand final of the Trials Records Lockdown Sessions 2020. We have Novastar, the returning champion from the last tournament, and the king of Trials Fusion, and long time top, top speedrunner classification coming back to take part. And let's see. We're heading over to Egypt, the Rally of the Kings. We're going to start. In a few moments time guys i hope everyone's ready this has been building up to this we've come a long way in the last three days guys we've got some pog racing in front of us i'll remind you it is a best of five the first player to get three wins will win if that person is novastar the tournament is over and we have a winner if that person is classification we will have to replay this round to find out so this is like the final, and then there can be the final plus. So, if we're ready, gentlemen, I am going to give a countdown. And once I finish that countdown, we will have started the final of the tournament. So, I hope everyone is comfortable. I hope everyone is ready. I hope everyone has picked their winner, and I hope everyone is ready to cheer them on. So, best of luck, gentlemen, in three, two, one. One, I'll start the timer. And when both riders are ready, you can go. I will reset the timer. Best of luck, guys. It's the same tracks again if there's a replay. So, both riders. Both riders. Let's see. Don't worry, Hayes. I'll figure something out, mate. Don't panic. So, both riders are off. We have Nova. 
and classy. Potentially two of the best trials players in the world competing against each other for quite a substantial prize. First place taking 40% of the prize pot, second place taking 25%. And I think, you know, with a few more donations, we could potentially reach the $1,000 mark. That would be absolutely insane. If anyone is feeling generous and would like to donate towards the prize pool, you will find the link below the stream. Let's get on with the commentary. So, very technical track. Lots of time savers. Nova here. Will he hit the time saver? Yes, he does. Very clean. Very clean. Let's see. Long way of the track to go as yet. There's lots of checkpoints. Gets the front flip nicely. Will he hit the time saver here? Yes, he does. Very clean. Coming up to the end of the track now. I think Nova's going to be the first person to put a time in. Let's see what he gets. He comes across with a 56.789. A 56.789. So Nova into the lead early on with a minute 30 let, uh, to played so far. This is going to be some insane racing, guys. Don't take your eyes off the screen. Anything could happen. We've got some team classes. Have we got any team Novas in the chat? Pop your team in, guys. Who do you want to win? Who do you want to win? Get your hashtag, team classy or hashtag team Nova. Let's see. Let's get an idea. Where does the support lie? Again, guys, remember, if you want to add to the donation pool, these guys will appreciate it. Let's, let's spur them on. The drivers harden as fast as they, as they can. Classy yet to put in a run. We're one quarter, coming up to one quarter of the way through the session. Classy yet to put in a run. So we've got Classies, we've got Novas. Team Crafter Man. Team Crafter Man. Team Gin. Team Top Dog. Let's see, guys. It's nice to see that you've, you've chosen who you want to be the winner. Let's see. So still classy, not getting a rundown as yet. Nova again coming through the track with a lot of pace. He hits the slide. Yes, he does. Will he hit the time saver here? Yeah, he's not going to miss that, I'm afraid. So classy coming up to a similar point. Does he hit the time saver? Oh, he does get a little bit of a bounce on the wheel there. But he goes for a big back wheel hop there. Massive time saved. Let's see, what can Nova do? Are we looking at an improvement for Nova? No, he's going to be a reset. Let's see what class he can do. Can he put a time down? He really does need to get something down just as a, just as a benchmark. It's slow. It's not fast. And he resets. That's a long time. A 56. That's a whole a minute. If you're... A, resetting at the very end of the track there a lot of time wasted tire glitch is fixed by the way nah never wouldn't be trials without tire glitches but again classy just gonna need to get a run together coming up six minutes left of the session guys Plenty of time left for both riders to put in more improvements. Nova again looking absolutely cracked. And he goes for a similar strat as Classy. And he gets it as well. I think there's a lot, of, a bit of air time before you come down. So that may not be the fastest route. But still very impressive. Nova on a very good run here. Looking good. Let's see what he can do here. I think he may be looking at the PB. So what have we got? We've got a 56.603. So another improvement. Don't count Classy out yet. We're coming up to just about halfway through the session. Get rising, Zerg. Get rising as well. It's not expensive. Just get it. It's good fun. But if you want just ninjas, then probably just install Fusion again. 
So again, guys, this is a best of five, so it's the first to three points. Classy still not able to get a run down. We're now over halfway through the session. Nova only about one second or just under a second off world record with his second run. So it's an insane stuff. Straight away into a diamond on his first run, of course. So both riders can relax in the idea that they are both taking home a substantial monetary prize. So their time has been well worth this. They are now racing for glory. This is all for the crown of Trials Records champion. Classy not happy with that run. He restarts. Nova again about halfway through the track now. Gets a nice slide on there. Will he get the time saver? Nope. Um, a bit late for that now, Ricks, but definitely I'll take that on board, my man. Okay, I think that the, I, I think the incentive to donate is to inspire these guys to come back and play a tournament like this again. Okay, so that's really the incentive. Is if you want to see tournaments like this, it doesn't necessarily rely on having a big prize pool, but the bigger the prize pool, I think, the more competition you will see. Okay, so I think that's the main motivation for adding to the prize pool guys is if you want to see these guys go at it again if we can give them a reason to play a reason you know a substantial amount of money to win they are going to come hard so yeah sure so here we go classy getting the time saver very nicely oh little bit of lag there from classy let's see what happens yeah he's okay everything is okay the stream is caught up is he going to make it across? No, he doesn't. Coming up two minutes. We are now three quarters of the way. Is Classy going to finish a run? Doesn't matter. It's the first of five, so plenty of opportunity for Classy. The last race between these two went to a, a one point each, so there's no reason why this can't go to two each. Somebody has to win each race, so, and there are plenty more to come. Let's see. Classy. Two minutes left. Classy still not putting in a run. Still not putting in a run. This is insane riding from both riders. But at the moment, Nova looking very good. Very good on Rally of the Kings. So Rally of the Kings. We have the King of Fusion and the King of Rising. So we really do have two kings. In front of our eyes. Nova getting a bit too far there, I think. He's not going to make that. Yeah, absolutely. If Red Links were to offer um, some prizes, then certainly we would, um, you know, do a draw for those who donated. Absolutely. We've had another... We've had... Oh, my days, guys. We've had... A hundred pounds donation from Blow My HD. We've got a hundred pounds added. Big thanks to Blow My HD or Blow Me. I'm not sure, but there you go. A <laughs> hundred pounds and another 22 pounds from Torren. Guys, I think that the prize pool may be reaching, may be close to nearly a thousand dollars potential to reach a thousand dollars for the prize pool we are coming up to the last 30 seconds classy really needs to put something good in here oh it's not gonna be enough i don't think for classy he needs to get on another run soon at the moment we have nova in the lead nova not too worried Nova with a six with us 56 542 absolutely insane I think classy is gonna struggle to keep up with this one and that is the session over so once classy restarts and that is session over guys let's see what Nova can do if 
this is the run for classy it's going to be such a shame nova is done and that is it guys so nova with the one point okay so we'll move over to the next track now guys great effort from classy sometimes guys just because he didn't set a time that doesn't matter that doesn't matter uh, oh, it was a 24, was it? Sorry, guys. A 24. A 5-2-4. So, great stuff there. So, classy. Not setting a time, but that, sometimes it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So, we are heading over to Frozen Fjord. Frozen Fjord. He'll do def he'll do better on the next track. So, okay, over to Frozen Fjord, guys. We will. We will. Wait for Classy to load. So, currently Nova Star with the with one point. Remember, it's the first to three wins will take this session. Okay? And currently, if Nova is the first to three wins, the tournament win is his, and he takes home number one remains the trials records champion if classification takes it and he gets three points first then we replay the final for the second elimination as nova is yet to be eliminated so guys let's start the second race of the finals in three two one the timer has started whenever you both start riding i will reset the timer best of luck to both riders here we go And we are off. We are off. Both riders. Ten minutes on Frozen Fjord. We've already seen this track in the tournament. It was in the loser's bracket. So a familiar track for you guys. You know what the line is. Let's see. Who can do what? So currently Nova with one point. In the best of five so first of three points a classification looking good on that first slide both riders at exactly the same point in the track so we know who's going faster classification going green on that nova getting through the snowman quicker both riders riding with each other here are they both going to finish at the same time would be insane wouldn't it if they both got the same time who's going to get the time saver Will both of them get the slide? They both do, but Classy is the only one who does. Classy is heading to the finish line with a 38.902. A 38.902. So Classy in the lead at the moment. 400 viewers, guys. Welcome to everyone who's here. Thank you all for the support, and I hope you're enjoying yourselves. This has been some big, big stuff in this tournament, and we're only going to see more now. So keep your eyes peeled to the screens, guys. Don't take your eyes off for a second. Anything could happen. Nova not getting quite through that snowman nicely, but nor did Classy, so he's going for the reset. Nova carrying on because he's ahead of his Mantis recent PB. Can he hit the time saver this time? Let's see. Yes, he does. A little bit high and it gets his back wheel caught. Let's see what he comes across the line in a 39.046. Not going to be enough. Only a slight, slight bit behind, but it won't be enough. Classification still in the lead. With a coming up to three quarters of the session left seven minutes 38 left on the timer guys plenty of time for improvements both riders looking to go hard classy again going green both riders able to go green i think they're i think nova is raising his mantis pb which won't be the same as his global pb current world record held by Nova himself so he should have an edge on this track oh getting his head caught classy with a 38 821 
though Classy still in the lead with another improvement. You guys call yourself Trials fans? We're all Trials fans. Who's got channel points? Who's got the most channel points? Who's watched the most over... Because I haven't streamed since channel points have been a thing. So who's got the most? I'll have a look. Who's stuck around the most? Show leaderboard. I will show the leaderboards. Absolutely. So both riders still riding hard. We're coming up to 6 minutes 20 left on the session. Still not halfway through the session. So plenty of time for both riders to get good times in. Keep your eyes peeled to the screens, guys. We're at the finals of the tournament now. Anything can happen. So Classy coming to the end of the track. Is he on a better time? The slide not as good as it could have been. I don't think it's going to be enough. It's a 39.006, which isn't too far off Nova's current run in the session. So there we go. Remember, guys, thank you for all the follows. Thank you for anyone who subscribed, anyone who sent any bits. Much appreciated. If you've donated, thank you very much. The tournament would still go ahead without donations, but I think that it's the primary driver for this level of competition. This is what really spurs these guys on. They're fighting for glory now. But I think the idea that they could win some cash, I think that really pushes them to another level. So again, Classy coming up here green. What are we going to see from Classy? Doesn't get the slide, so... Ugh. I don't think it's going to be enough to PB. It's a 38.926. It's not. It's still slower than his first run. Nutting hot sticky loads on disgusting tracks. Donut, mate. You dutty bugger. <laughs> Loving the memes, guys. Let's focus on the racing. I'm going to focus on the racing. I would love to just take part in all the chat memes, but I'm here to commentate for you guys. So, four minutes, 30 left on the timer. We're over halfway now. Nova struggling with his 39046. Not that far behind Classy at all. But is Classy going to take this track and level the points out to one all? Wouldn't it be absolutely nuts if this went to a classification win over the five tracks and we go to another best of five? Classy. Will he get the slide? He does. It's low. Oh, no, but didn't get the rotation. And Nova getting absolutely screwed over by that last bit of wood. But what's he got? What's he got here? A 38.927. It's not enough. But it's a PB, a 38,927. Still not enough. So, Classy looking like he might be levelling this one out. We are two-thirds through the session now, guys. Don't count Nova out. You've seen what this kid can do. Getting a nice slide through the snowman there. Much better. Doesn't lose grip. Does he get enough? Yes, he does. Plus, he's still at the start of the track. Let's keep an eye on Nova, guys. He's coming up, looking good. It's not the best connection there, but it might still be enough to... And he doesn't get the slide. That ending is treating him badly. Yes, guys, this, you know, we're looking to maintain a community in trials. We're a tight knit group, but we also have open doors. So welcome to everyone who's new. Um, what you are watching is the best of the best in trials racing each other. Nova again coming up to the end of the track. Will the slide treat him badly? It doesn't. It does. It does treat him badly again. It's really not being nice to him. He done so well. On Rally of the Kings, but struggling here on Frozen Fjord. And he is the current world record holder as well. You would think that would give him the edge, but Classy just pulling it out when it matters. Two minutes left of the session, guys. So 
Nova again getting absolutely shafted by the ending. Less than two minutes left in the session now, guys. Nova going very fast up the hill there. Very quick. Very low over that. Let's see how he fares with the snowman. Good stuff. Very quickly through the snowman. Nova on very good pace here. Looking good. Let's see how the ending treats him again. He's been here so many times on good pace. Oh, no. No. These mistakes are going to really cost Nova on this track. Nova getting shafted. Classy pulling out when it matters. Brilliant. <laughs> These guys go for the closest match as well. Currently, that is between Oris and... Panda, and they have 0 0.068 between one of their races. So Nova again coming to the end of the track. Let's see. Is the time saver nice to him? Much better connection on that. Let's see. Can he hit the slide? He doesn't. It's not going to be enough again. He's going to come over the line. Oh, and he doesn't. He resets potential there to be a session PB but still not enough to be classy 20 seconds left guys Nova's going to have to pull something big out of the bag here going to have to be a Lorcan style late comer and the session is over so both riders can finish the run they're on classy is finished so Nova, this is where it really needs to count. Will he pull a Lorcan? Will he pull out his last run of the session? Is it going to be enough? He needs to hit the slide. He hits his back. It's not the end of the world, but he does need to hit this slide. Is it going to be the first time he hits it? It's not going to be enough, I don't think. It's a 7-4-2. He does it. It's a 7-4-2. Nova takes it. In the last moments, Nova takes it. Wow. 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 Here we go, guys. We might be looking at tournament match point here. We're going into the third race of the best of five. Is Nova going to clean sweep it? Absolutely insane riding there. And you see, all it takes is one run, guys. One run. If I'm classy, I'm pissed. Absolutely. But at this level, guys, you cannot let this get to you. Classy needs to forget about the mistake. He needs to put it from his mind and focus on winning the next race. He must win the next race to stay in the competition. He must win it. If not, we have Nova in first place and classification in a still absolutely exceptional second place both riders taking home huge monetary prizes so this is for the glory guys this is for the glory we are heading over to stonehenge another track from the losers bracket another track from the losers bracket so we have all seen this track before so i'm gonna start this is potentially the last race of the tournament classification with zero points. Nova Star with two. It's the first to three. If Nova Star wins this, he takes the crown home, guys. He takes home first place. He retains his trials records championship. And Classy will take second. So, I hope everyone is ready. Are we ready, guys? I want to see all the hype in the chat. Wish the riders the best of luck. And in three, two, one, we are off. I will reset the timer once both riders begin riding. Anytime we are going to see potentially the final match. And Classy is off. Nova is off. We have 10 minutes, guys, of Stonehenge with Nova having the potential to take the tournament with this race. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So again, an extremely technical track. A few time savers, nothing too big, but certainly a lot of techie time savers. 
Classification, the world record holder on this track. So he should have the edge. Who's going to be the first to put in a run? I think Classy's looking good. He is looking good. So it's this bit here. If you don't hit this well, it's not going to go great. He does. He's okay, but he overslides it. it wasn't too far off his PB. Nova Star getting caught up there. So if both riders don't put in a time within the 10 minutes, and it will go down the draw. We will move on. But riders must do their best to put in a time. So Nova here coming up to the ending of the track. Past checkpoint 12. He didn't go for the slide. Looking to just get a time in. And he is over the line in a 40.802. A 40.802. So straight in. Absolutely smashing the diamond time. As expected. Nova into the lead. Classy on the chase. Remember, Classy is fighting here to remain in the tournament. And to keep the fight against Nova alive. Oh, Classy getting a very nice slide there. But losing a lot of time on airtime there. Let's see. Can he capitalise? Nope. Going to have to be a restart. But he is really going for that slide. He's not accepting anything else. You can see how much quicker it is. And he will not accept anything but the slide. I think he knows he's got to go all out after the last match where I think he was feeling comfortable with his time. And then Nova pulls it out. Pulling a Lorcan style late finish. Bassi here. I think he's realising that he may spend a lot of time going for that time saver. And if Nova's not going for it, he doesn't need to either. He just needs a cleaner, smarter run. Again, Nova getting a very good hop off that barrel there. Three starts though. So both riders pulling out all the stops here. Both riders will be riding as hard as they can. Classy still not putting in a run. We can't see a repeat of the first race. A travesty. The first race where Classy didn't get a run in and Nova could have taken it with a 56. So there, it's worth getting a run in. You never know. You never know. So coming up to 6 minutes 15 left in the session, guys. So we're still not halfway. This is potential to be the last race of the tournament. But let's see. We cannot count anyone out yet. Nova again. Approaching the ending of the track. Classy not seen much of the ending. I think he's really looking for that perfect run. He really wants to stick it to Nova and not waste time. So if it's not perfect, he's not interested. So Classy coming up. No, again, just not catching that back wheel down soon enough. So Nova here is approaching checkpoint 12 again. He's not going very fast, but nope, he decides it's not worth it. Just coming up to halfway through the session, guys. Like I say, we have potential. If Nova wins this, he's taken the clean sweep. He hasn't lost at all. And the only race he would have lost is the one against Classy in the first best of three tonight of the winner's final. We are now in the grand final. This is match point for Nova. If he wins this, he takes the tournament. He takes the top prize. He becomes the second two-time Charles Records champion. But Classy here. Classy gets the slide. Classy gets the slide. Keep an eye on Classy, guys. 
slow up the hill, very slow, a 46-6-4. So Classy into the lead with a 46-6-4. And he lost a lot of time at the end there. He knows he can do better. Classy is in the lead. Team Classy, let's see what you've got. Everyone is hyped to see Classy take the lead. Can he hold on to it? Will Nova pull another upset in the last seconds like he did the last race? Big upset, if so. Big upset. It wouldn't be an upset in terms of skill, just the fact that he does it at the very last moment. It's nothing like thinking you've got the session, you've seen the timer run out, you can see the green box around your stream, and you watch as your opponent comes over the finish line to take the win. That must be painful to watch. Doesn't seem to be having an effect on Classy. He's able to put in these sort of times. It would be great to see another... It would be great to see another... Another 10-minute session from these guys. Can Classy hold on to this? He's got 3 minutes 20 to either improve or for Nova to not be able to take the lead. Classy again on a good run. Let's see what he can do. Doesn't want to underdo that. He's good over there. Let's see. Keep your eye on Classy, guys. Let's see how he does on the slide. He gets a nice slide. Not nice enough. He bails out. I believe. I believe that there was still time in that, personally. Because he was very slow up the last hill. But as he's in the lead, perhaps it's not worth using the time. Just in case. Nova here. Is Nova struggling? We don't seem to be seeing a lot of Nova in the ends of the track now. Maybe the fact that he was so close. He's so close to the top prize. Is that having an effect on him? Classy again coming to the end of the track. It's not fast, but it's not slow. Doesn't get the slide. Why do they risk sliding the ramp? You take the risks to be at the top, Oris. You know that, my man. It's the difference between winning and losing is that slide. You have to go for it. Classy again getting very good, good pace up into checkpoint eight. Very nicely over the spool. Over into checkpoint nine. Let's see. He's not going to mess up the slide. Oh, he doesn't like it. He resets. Nova still 0.15 behind. Nova really struggling with the start there. Is he going for the slide? He's not going for the slide. One minute 20 left in the session, guys. Anything can happen, as you know, from the last race, but... Classy is looking very good. He's looking comfortable on Stonehenge. He's looking like he's at home. He's going green. Getting all of these time savers really nailed. He's getting very clean off that. Extremely clean into checkpoint seven. Nova just doesn't seem to be managing to get past sort of checkpoint five and six. He's having a very tough time. Classy. Let's see what he can do. He's entering the ends of the track. We're below a minute left in the session. He goes for the slide. Risky. Risky. But this is what you have to do. He who dares wins. We are 25 seconds left in the session, guys. Remember, Nova took it on his very last run. The timer had run out and he'd already started his run. Both riders are afforded the same privileges. If you start a run, if you're on a run, when the timer runs out, you are able to carry it on until you finish. If you PB, you take the session. And that is zero. So both riders are on their last run. And Nova, we go. We go, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen we are off to the fourth match of the best of five classy pulling it back when it really mattered we are off to emerald city 
where I believe we are going to see an extremely close race. But let's go, guys. Big GGs to both riders. Classy there. Pulling out all the stops when he needed to. Getting that win and keeping himself in the competition. Let's go. Let's go. So we are off to the Emerald City. It's Australia. So I will repeat. This will be on YouTube, absolutely. It will all be edited next week and uploaded by the weekend, hopefully. So it will be edited into rounds, so each round will have its own separate video, okay? But it will all be up. You'll all get the links. Don't worry, guys. You can see this. Um, the VODs will be available on Twitch immediately. So if you want to share, then so be it. So let me just explain, guys. We are over to Emerald City. Another 10-minute session. Currently Nova Star. Again, if he wins this race... It is over. The tournament is over. Nova takes the win. Classy takes second. If Classy wins, we go to the final match of the best of five. So, let's see. Best of luck to both riders. I want to see all the good lucks in the chats. And in three, two, one, the timer is running. I will reset the timer when both riders begin racing. Best of luck, guys. Again, we could be seeing a winner of the tournament here. Classy is fighting to stay in. Classy is racing. And Nova is racing. We have 10 minutes. Again, guys, we are in the grand finals of the Trials Records Lockdown Sessions 2020 tournament. Classification versus Nova Star. Two of the best Trials players to ever have graced our Twitch screens. And let's see what they're both made of. Classy was looking extremely good on this track earlier. Extremely good. So Classy, straight in. With a... 29-0-7-0. So classy. And 28-9-2-9 for Nova. So Nova coming straight back with a, with a reply. So Nova fighting for the win here. Classy fighting to stay in the tournament. Let's see what happens. Classy coming to the end of the track again. He's looking good. He's dropping down nicely. Will he get a nice slide? It's not amazing, but he comes through with a 28, 8 to 8. So we are going backwards and forwards in this race, guys. A 28, 8 to 8. Classy with a 28, 8 to 8. Currently Classy in the lead. This is exactly what Classy needs to be in the lead for this one. If he doesn't win this race, Nova takes the crown. If, he, if Classy does win, we go to the final of the best of five, where it is the decider as to whether we see a returning champion keep his crown, or will we see the returning king of Trials Fusion come and mess things up for the current champion? So Nova looking very good with a 28 7 5 6. So a 7 5 6 and Nova goes back into the lead. A very short track here guys so we should see lots of attempts from both riders. We're coming up to one quarter played. We have 7 minutes 30 seconds left of this grand final session. Classy restarting the track not liking what he sees. So Nova going green. He gets that tire down very quick. He's looking good. Nova looking very good. What can he do here? What can he do? He comes in with a 748. It is another improvement. A 748. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, guys. So Nova really fighting here for the win. He can take it now if he need, if he can keep it together. And if Classy can't get a run together, 
we'll be seeing the returning champ keeping his title. Can Classy come back from this? Plenty of time left. Six minutes 25 in the session left. Plenty of time for both riders to improve. Nova going green again. He's looking good. He's looking very good. Back wheel caught a little bit there. Let's see. Nope, he resets. He's not happy. Classy not happy either. Welcome to everyone who's been involved, everyone who's taken part. Thank you for being here, guys. Been an epic tournament so far, and we're now seeing the final stages of it play out. Some excellent riding from both riders, both of them putting in insane times. Classy looking very good as he comes up to the end. Oh, a tyre glitch there is not going to be helpful, and that isn't going to help either. He knows it isn't good enough. Nova knows exactly the same problem there. Both of them knowing that it's just not worth it for those few seconds you lose to find out that you didn't get a PB. It's not worth it. 400 viewers, welcome to the 400 people. I hope you're enjoying yourselves, guys. I do this for the riders and I do this for you guys, okay? This is for the community. We're a tight-knit bunch, but the doors and gates are open. Come along, bring your friends. Classy looking very good again. Looking very good. Ah, oh, another glitchy tyre. It's not helpful. It's really not helpful. But both riders, both suffering the same fate on that last obstacle. We're over halfway through the session now. Nova currently on point and in place to win the tournament. Can classification, the king of trials fusion, can he come back? take it to the fifth match this best of five the decider classy looking very good again oh and he hits that front wheel it's such a shame nova looking insanely good here insanely good from nova we are going to see a very good time here guys it's a 28 5 3 4 absolutely insane time we don't have a world record, but it's very close. Big PB for Nova there. This could be over. This could be over. Classy needs to start pulling it out. He's got 3 minutes 40 left. Plenty of time. There's still plenty of time. There's nothing to stop Classy from pulling a Nova or a Lorcan. Still plenty of time left, guys. It is not over until that timer runs out. And both riders have finished their run. And anything can happen as you've seen so far. Both riders at exactly the same place in the track. But Nova holding it. Classy not. This is intense, guys. We have three minutes left. Three minutes of the session. Nova resetting. Classy resetting. Nova has been incredibly consistent this session. I think the fact that he knows that he's got that, he can relax so much more knowing that he doesn't go out instantly. However, Classy knows that he needs to put this in. Let's see, Classy looking very good. Oh no, again just getting that back tyre caught. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in the session, guys. We are close, we are close to seeing the potential winner of the tournament. Let's see. Is he on better pace? He's not. He does get that slide wrong. Can Classy pull this back? This has been an intense final, guys. Classy doing exceptionally well to come back and get that one point. Let's see. Can he take it to the fifth match? Classy looking very good here. Looking very good. Can he hold it together? Oh, is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough for Classy? He needs to get this well too high, I'm afraid. Too high, I'm afraid. Nova with a 28-378.
It's still not world record. Another PB, but still not world record. One minute 30 left, Classy. You need to pull it all out, my man. Nova, is he taking a risk? He could get another. He could get another PB. Classy, go. Go, go. Do not stop. You have one minute, 10 seconds left. Are we going to see a flex from Nova? Is he confident? No, he's going to continue. It's what I like to see. I don't like to see overconfidence. Don't like to see smudgeness. Here we go, guys. We've entered the final minute of this session with currently Nova in the lead by a substantial amount. In the lead by 0.5. Classy's going to have to pull it out of the bag here. We're coming up. 30 seconds left. 33, 32. We have 30 seconds left in the session. Are we going to be seeing the tournament winner? Or is Classy going to pull it out of the bag at the last minute? This is tense, guys. And Classy, don't stop. One, one more try, man. One more try, Classy. We are... Five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, guys. GG Nova. Guys. Guys. We have a winner. Big, big, big round of applause for both riders, please, guys. A big round of applause. We have our winner, the returning champ, Reign Supreme, Nova Star. Congratulations, my man. Classification, congratulations. A strong, strong second. It was close. And if we go by statistics, Nova should have had this in the bag. And he did. So great effort from everyone involved, guys. This has been insane. Massive GGs. To all those riders who participated, massive GGs. To all the fans who showed up to support their riders. This has been epic, guys. Utterly epic. Let's have a look.